don't forget me when I'm gone. Please don't unsubscribe. I promise I'm still there. I'm just working. So if you're seeing this and you're subscribed and you're like, she's not posting, it's not because I don't want to, it's because I can't. a.m. I already woke up. I did a Bible study, watched a few of them too, and ate breakfast. And now I'm just going to kind of focus on getting everything ready for camp and packing. I have to go out and get like my toiletries and stuff that I need for camp. I finished getting all of the major supplies, like shorts, I pretty much just had those left over from last year. Um, and my trunk and portable charger and everything that I need for traveling instead of just staying in one spot the whole summer because this summer I'm traveling to different states. Um, so that kind of looks a little bit different with packing. So I had to figure all that out. But now I'm just checking over the packing list to make sure that I have everything. And then what I don't have I'm gonna go out and get that, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna study the devotional material so that I can effectively teach it and just have like a familiarization with it. Um, goodness. I'm so excited for camp. Like, so excited to share the gospel and pour into others while also having the community to pour into me and I'm excited to like see my friends again and I know a few people who I'm working with already so like I'm so excited to be around them and work and I know that if I do end up posting videos sometime like I'm sure my team will be in it which I like I'm hoping that I can post a five minute video here and there just of like an update and hopefully my new camp friends will be in it. I know I'm gonna have a blast but the day before is always so scary because like, I have to leave again for 10 weeks. And it's not like I'm going to college where I, like, have my space and I have my home. Like, I've been there for three years, so I know I know school now. But camp is, like, I'm going somewhere where, like, this year I'm so thankful I know people. I'm so glad I know people because last year I didn't and I was terrified. But um, it's just, like, it's always new. And it's always something different and it is scary having to leave home and travel for 10 weeks in a row and just like missing out on my family's vacation that we do every year to New Jersey and like I won't be able to see my family up there and it's just hard so I'm kind of like today's just kind of hard because I'm excited but I'm also sad for leaving home right as I got home. Um, but I'm so thankful for the time that I've had these past two weeks just being able to chill. It's just trying to reroute my brain to, Ugh, it's just scary, but I think that's it. The cat's on my bed. I brought him up so that I could have him in here. Um, And, oh, I have to return my sunglasses. I decided I was gonna keep the Target ones. I have them here. Um, I like the Target ones better just because they fit my face better, they don't slide as much, and they were cheaper. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep these. They're not as comfortable, but I think they just, like, they're more realistic, I think, in the grand scheme of things, but I like blenders. I think I'm just gonna get a different style if I ever order them again. One that, like, fits my nose better and stays on, but these will be just fine for the summer. <laughs> so I have to print out the return label for them and then take them to return um and i think that's pretty much it for right now i'll update you when i go getting 
go get my toiletries and stuff. First stop, Duncan. We're doing taste test. Jenny, you can go first. I didn't stole mine all the way. Well, you didn't say what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I got a um, iced vanilla coffee with cream and sugar. <laughs> River water. I got an iced latte and I put the donut flavoring in it. You're not gonna like it. Crack. Okay. Oh, and your turn. Oh, sorry. Um, I folded, I got like some kind of chocolate mocha thing. You folded? I was gonna get the donut thing, but I decided not to because I thought the chocolate oh. would be better. Mid. No, you have to say <laughs> river water. Oh, river water. <laughs> Is it river water or crack? Oh, river water probably. So it's not good? It's diluted with crack. <laughs> Owen doesn't know Duncan ratings yet. <laughs> Mid. Mm, that's diluted crack. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Not... Can I try the donut one? Yes. It's kind of just the same as your living. That tastes like. It just kind of enhances Can I try the coffee river water. Flavor. All right, so now we are going get away. Mine too. Owen is there. <laughs> we got back from being out and I'm gonna show you all of the toiletries that I brought or bought slash all of the things that I bought and then I'm gonna show what I'm packing and how I'm packing it. So first I had to stop at Walgreens on the way back to get deodorant. I like Arm & Hammer deodorant, it's 50% less expensive, and it just like feels better to me. And then from the dollar store, I got a neck pillow. It was only 5 bucks, it's pretty decent. If I don't use it, I'm not going to be worried because it was 5 bucks. Um, but I can wash this, the cover of it, which is all I care about. Um, <laughs> I got some shower shoes for the first time since last year. Um, because we're using communal showers for training and then we'll be in hotels the rest of the summer So I just wanted to make sure I had these just in case something gross comes up I don't know. I got like an exfoliating washcloth thing um, Just because I don't like using my hands I got a toothbrush cover and a little thing of laundry detergent and from Target I got lotion body wash sunscreen and a little bit of dry shampoo i'm gonna get everything organized and show you what i'm packing So I'm going to show you what I'm bringing for 10 weeks away at camp across different states. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll start. I don't know where to start. I'm bringing this many t-shirts because we have training for like a week. But then some of them are just like also going to be for off time. Underwear, I have 10 pairs. I think 11 actually, just in case. Um, pajama pants, bathing suit, a nice dress for the banquet at the end of the summer. Um two pairs of jeans and my polo for Sundays. I think I have, I think I only have eight sports bras, so I'll have one extra. <laughs> Hopefully no emergencies happen. 10 pairs of socks, I think. 
um, all of my fingertip length shorts and then this pair and that pair for off time, I might only bring the jean shorts and skip these. And then I have pretty much just like jumbled toiletries, um, body wash that I got today, tampons, pads, um, a mirror because apparently there's no mirror in where we're staying at for training. And then I'm bringing these necklaces, sea turtle, Kinder Scott, the starfish one, this one for the banquet. I'm not gonna wear that like normally. And then this green one that I got today cause I'm, my village is green. And then all of these bracelets and this 4th of July bow, these earrings, these are just for the banquet. I'm not gonna wear those. Um, these are for 4th of July. And then I'm bringing the ones that I have in now too. I have my rain jacket from last year that they told us to bring. And then I have two sweatshirts in the wash that I just put through um, so that the detergent makes them smell like home and also so that I could wash my neck pillow um, cover up. And then I have these two towels, but where I'm really stuck is the shoes. So I'm bringing this pair of sneakers and this pair just in a bag, you know, cause those are what I'm gonna be wearing for the day. And then I want to bring these for Sundays to have nice and then these just for off time and also Sundays. But then I really want to bring my Nikes, but I won't really wear them unless it's a Sunday or off time. But I feel like I wouldn't want to wear those during off time. So I feel like I don't want to bring them, but I can't fathom not wearing them for a whole 10 weeks. Like, that's just sad. But I think I'm just going to stick with these, which is kind of weird because it's like two sneakers, two sandals. But I think I'll be okay. I might end up also just wearing my sneakers during off time. I don't know. And then I have my shower shoes over there for staff training. Now I'm gonna pack everything into my trunk and whatever can't fit in my trunk goes in my duffel bag, but I'm pretty sure, fingers crossed, mostly everything can fit in my trunk. But we shall see. everything in my trunk this is like everything basically i just have like my bible um like my charger and smaller stuff that i can like literally fit in there but i also have this so i think i'm gonna take out all of my immediate clothing my shirts and um shorts and things that i need like every single day and put them in my duffel bag and then keep everything that's kind of like my sweatshirts, my jacket, probably my toiletries and my trunk. I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. Um, I'm getting sad. And I, yeah. It's not easy leaving for 10 weeks. Good morning, rep in the camp. It's 7.21 in the morning. I woke up at like 6.15 to say bye to my dad, um, cause he went to work. And now I'm just gonna 
pack the rest of my stuff and then pack the car and edit this video, post this video, look over my devotional stuff, and then I'm going to leave at 11.30. So I have, um, like, four and a half hours-ish until I have to leave. Um, which sounds like a lot of time, but I know it's going to go by super quickly. But uh, I think right now I'm going to take everything that's in my trunk that I need on a daily basis, like t-shirts, shorts, underwear, everything like that, and put it into my duffel bag. Um, and then keep my trunk as, like, sweatshirts, laundry, shoes, shirts that I won't be wearing every day, things like that. This is what my trunk looks like, if you were wondering. <laughs> I have my shoes in here with extra toiletries that I don't have room to put in there. And then my empty bag. This is my laundry bag. This is my mirror. I'm worried that the laundry bag, when I fill it up, is going to be, like, insanely big. And the problem is, like, it fits now. But in here, I have my shirts, my shorts, my, like, underwear bras and socks. And then I'll have my neck pillow and toiletries in there. But when I'm done with staff training, we're getting five t-shirts for the actual camp week and so that means like all of my t-shirts in there will be in my trunk which means it'll be more full plus everything that i'm just gonna like accumulate over the summer so i'm a little bit scared <laughs> i changed into my camp outfit let me show you let me show you have the first day shirt which it camps and then my shorts and then i'm wearing my adidas sneakers earrings watch gotta have my watch on um and then orange for my orange team and that's it <laughs> my glasses <laughs> i'm making breakfast i wanted to make my breakfast sandwich to commemorate my last breakfast at home for 10 weeks but i don't think i'm gonna be able to stomach that because i'm very anxious and i like i just ate a banana and the banana's like already making me feel ah uh, because my stomach is just like tumbling oh my gosh look family sat with me while i was doing my devotional oh he doesn't want to say hi um and he kept patting the string on my bible um anyways so i'm gonna make a bowl of honey nut cheerios i think just to eat something um but i'm really not hungry <laughs> i'm also having coffee which probably isn't a good idea but it's 808 I have the video I'm gonna be editing. I'm a little bit worried about timing, but I think we'll be okay. Um. <laughs> totally the first take. All right, so it's 9.30. I just finished packing. I put the stuff in the car. Um, everything's packed. The only thing I have to do is just finish editing this video, study the devotional material, and then hit the road, Jack. Just scary, this is my last video for 10 weeks. Full video, hopefully I can make small videos and just upload them without like editing or something. Um, that's my goal. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can do that. Um, and, yeah, don't forget me when I'm gone. Please don't unsubscribe. I promise I'm still there. I'm just working. So if you're seeing this and you're subscribed and you're like, she's not posting, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I can't. But as soon as I get home in August, I promise I will film and I promise I will post and it'll be fine. We're just gonna have to hold on guys hold on long distance okay long distance <laughs> um but yes if you so please please pray for me and my team as we travel throughout the middle of the u.s we're going to indiana illinois missouri arkansas texas indiana if i didn't say indiana already um 
So please just pray for us as we visit these churches and reach these kids and these campers and families and churches and everything. But also pray for strength and comfort and peace and energy because we have some long days coming up. 4 a.m. wake up calls. That sounds fun. Um, but yes, um, it'd be very nice and helpful if you could pray for us. The orange team, the orange, and I'll miss making these videos and I'll miss you guys, but I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Um, if you want to, follow me on Instagram. There's my Instagram. Maybe I'll post more on there than YouTube, but you can keep up with me on Instagram, hopefully. I'll see you guys later. That's so sad. This is so weird. I'll miss you guys. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Au revoir. Bye.